Welcome back to Houston, everybody. We are in round number two against the Edmonton Oilers, who had a very strong finish to the year, 8-2-0, but we finished 7-1-2, and which isn't that different. As a matter of fact, it is very similar. So, yeah, that's good news. But Edmonton had 48 wins on the year. We did have 51, so we finished a little bit higher up in the standings than them, although they did have 11 overtime losses, which pretty crazy let me actually see i'm kind of curious like how was there any teams that separated us or are they pretty much like right behind us they're going to be very very close uh where am i going here okay here we go <laughs> sorry i was trying to talk and think at the same time it just wasn't working so okay yeah they were two points below us so san jose is right there and if we go to the entire league it goes hammerheads sharks okay so they were also just beaten out by the Capitals. so they finished fifth and we finished second which you know, we do have the advantage there, but I'm assuming there's going to have a disgusting team. So let's see here. Let's go to view lines and see what Edmonton has. I will show you our lines again real quick too, just as a refresher. So the Edmonton Oilers, they have Landis Cog, who is, okay, 83 overall with no abilities or anything. Low top six, that is questionable to say the least. McDavid's 89 overall on the second line. They got Dreisaitl at 92 on the first line, and then, what is this team? Okay, I mean, this is weird. I don't think they should have done as good as they did, but that's just my opinion. Uh, defensively, they don't look great either. All in the felt and net. How did they do so good? I don't understand this game sometimes, man. This makes no sense to me. But anyway, uh, this is the team we're going up against here. They still have McDavid and Dreisaitl that, I mean, their overall isn't what it used to be, but they're still pretty close, and they're still going to be a very, very threatening. So we got to be on the lookout for them. Now, I will edit our lines and show you guys what's going on in Houston. So we have New Hook, and I actually wanted to try something. Ooh. I might do that. I might do that. I'm thinking about it. You know what? Let's try it. Let's let's try it out and see how it goes. Move Zegris up to that first line, because he is a center slash left wing, and Newhook is a center, so... Yeah. The chemistry remains. Robertson down to an 81? He was an 84 last video. What the heck happened? I guess he had a little tantrum, because he was upset about his ice time or something. What about... Okay, Fitz is a left winger. He's listed as a second liner. Um, Left winger. Yeah. I'm going to leave Fitz there for now. Uh, Robertson, you can stay there and cry me a river about it. That's okay. Just trying to check if there's any chemistry things going on here, but not really. Okay, so I think we're good. Defensively, is anything here that like kind of works? No, I'm just going to leave it. Because we got the plus one with Bouchard and uh, Miro. And then Sergachev, Kavanov, plus two. Okay, I know if it ain't broke, don't fix it. But I just want to try this out for a game or two and see how it goes. If we lose the first two games, then I'll, I'll switch it. But I think it's going to work. I think it's going to be good. So here we go. Houston Hammerheads. Edmonton Oilers, round two of the, I still don't know, but I think it's year 10 playoffs. Let's do this thing. First period. Boom. Ooh. Okay. We get one from Evans. They went from Landeskog and McDavid. Second period. E. All right. 4-3. Raymond buries one and Fitz buries one. Then we got Beckman and Addison for the Oilers. So they only have 17 shots and we only have 21. This is a weird one. Very offensive duel. Okay, we're giving them power plays. A five on three. What are we doing, guys? Yeah, this is just an absolute throwaway. Holy crap. And then they get another one. Oh, dear. Okay, Bouchard scores at least. Makes it a little less embarrassing. It is now a 6-4 game. But you know what? We lost the first game to Vancouver as well. That's all right. And then we went and won four straight. So that's that's okay. It's just the first game. Dreisaitl with five points. Uh, Bouchard with two. And Raymond with another goal. So that's nice to see. Sim to the next game. Yes, please. All right. Let's see how this one goes. We are still in Houston here. We, again, don't want to lose two games in a row at home. So let's hope that does not happen. First period. That's a better start. Fitz again. This guy has been picking it up. Holy crap. Second period. You have got to be kidding me. Holy crap. Just an explosion from the Oilers. And they get three goals. To give them not only the lead, but an insurance marker heading into the third period here. Will Houston have an answer, or are we going to be down two games heading to Edmonton? Oh my word. 
We might just be outmatched here, which I think is absolutely absurd looking at the teams, but the NHL simulation engine has some stuff under the hood that we don't know about. Holmstrom and Rotti getting goals, and then Ulna felt the best goalie in the world, better than a 91 overall, with a much better defensive core in front of him. Incredible. Well, I'm a word of my man. Switching them back. New hook, you're back on the first line. Yep, let's see how it goes here. He's listed as a first line forward. Like, he does fit that role better. I don't get it. Imagine we get smacked even worse now. I don't even know what I'm just so discombobulated all over the place. Okay, sim to next game. Yes, please. Okay, well, not a hot start, but it's okay. We can bounce back here. Let's go hammerheads. First period. That's okay. I'll take that. Second period. All right. Kavanov and ooh, we get one from Rickard. Love that. Third period, we are up by a one, of course. I was about to say two, but no, McDavid really just shut me down. Okay. Like, what is going on? What is this game sometimes? Halfway through the third period, we have 31 shots, two goals, and you are a sick and twisted game, NHL 22. That is brutal. Darnell Nurse just putting the icing on the cake, making it four to two. And we are down 3-0. We basically... Well, we don't... We do. We need to get a reverse sweep here. Otherwise, we're out. This game never fails to amaze me. All right. Here we go. I'm, no, I'm just so fed up at this point. There's... You know what, boys? We can do this. We can. But the way you're playing... I don't know. First period. Uh-huh. Second period? Yeah. Okay, we're done. We're done. It is all but over for your Houston Hammerheads. It was an honest effort. But not good enough. Yeah, we're getting literally swept by the Edmonton Oilers here. Breland finally shows up. I grabbed that guy thinking he's going to be an absolute unit. And Elliot Moose is on the loose is being missed big time by Houston fans. Oh, my word. Yep, get the brooms out. There you have it. A sweep in round number two. Oh, man. Well, let's see what we can do here contracts-wise. We have a bunch of players expiring. Sergachev was at 5.9. He's probably going to want a big bump, but I'll try to give it to him anyway because he's worth it. Um, Zegris? I might just let this guy go. <laughs> I might just let him go. I'm so sick and tired. It, that's assuming we even do another year. Like, I don't know if we're going to be doing another one or not because this game is just absolutely pissing me off to no end. I'm going to be honest. <laughs> but anyway... I'm going to try offering some of these contracts here. We have a bunch of big players running up. He was at 6.1. He wants 7. Uh, what about our goalies? Oh, no. McNaughton, please don't want a big contract. Oh. That is brutal. Wow. Okay. Well, we got our work cut out for us here, but... Yeah, I think it just wasn't meant to be. I think it wasn't meant to be. Houston, we do have a problem. And that problem is that we cannot win a damn playoff series to save our lives. That's a lie, actually. We just can't win a cup to save our lives. So uh, I'm going to go back to contracts. Since I'm probably letting Zegris walk, it was going to look at someone in free agency. Oh, we also need Kavanaugh back too, though. And I want Franklin back. He doesn't want a lot, though, so that's nice. Thank you. Finally. Someone who doesn't want an insane deal. Uh, we have Miles Wood. You can go. Cop, I'll let you walk probably. He was on a 6.8. When did that happen? Okay, well, he's definitely going to want less, which means I might bring him back. He is 36, though, so I think we could find an easy replacement in free agency. So I'm probably just going to let him go. And on top of that, it looks like we might have to move one of our goalies. I am going to qualify him, but... Yeah, we're probably going to have to match a, a contract of some sort. So, another offseason, and uh, honestly, guys, this might be it. This might be the send-off. We'll see if I end up starting a new series or if I end up doing the draft and whatever, but I think that just did the nail in the coffin for me and has just really demoralized me from wanting to continue this series. So, yeah. Uh, thank you guys for watching, though. I do appreciate it. I know that some of you guys have been big Houston Hammerheads fans, so thank you for that. And on that note, 
Yeah, that's about it. We didn't get much done in terms of, you know, winning Stanley Cups or anything like that, but we gave it our best effort. I think this was a big learning experience too for me in terms of franchise mode. I'm just going to go through the individual trophies. No, nope, we're going home completely empty-handed. Splendid. Well, there you have it, guys. The playoff tree is right here. Seattle got swept in the finals by the Pity Pens. And I think... Yeah, I, I don't think you'll be seeing more of the Houston Hammerheads, honestly. But I do appreciate you guys very much for watching. And hopefully you're enjoying the playoffs IRL right now. Some great games and series going on there. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you soon.